leaders in education in St. Lucia are remaining committed to achieving goals enshrined in a five-year strategic plan, despite the challenges faced by the country financially. Ahead of the reopening of school next week, Chief Education Officer Marcus Edward says the fiscal issues do create impediments in achieving the education sector's work plan, but are not unique to the island. Mr. Edward says the execution of new technological programs and school repairs, in particular, remain a heavy burden on the ministry's budget. However, he says the ministry's leadership is exercising fiscal responsibility whilst at the same time creating innovative ways of accomplishing the ministry's mandate. I don't know any countries that, that says you know, that we have, we have surplus as far as um, the, the contribution to, to education. We could always do with more resources. We have to find other means of, of diversifying the funding for the education programs. We have been asked to do more with, with less, so to speak, and we, we have embraced the challenge and we have to work with it. Only last week, leaders in education met at an instructional focus meeting to plan and strategize for the upcoming academic year. This year's theme, Enhancing Education Through Innovation and Creativity, Mr. Edward says, means the education sector is taking an introspective look, realizing that it requires a more creative and innovative direction through the pedagogical use of technology central to that strategy. So we've seen some of the initiatives in ICT that we're talking about, the ICT policy, but we are not forgetting the other areas that have been that have um, caused us some concern over the years. You notice um, the programs we have to address literacy, for example, in our schools, TVET programs and certification. So all of those things we are addressing. So whilst we, we, we are moving forward, we wish to move forward, we, we do not wish that any subsector or area be left behind. So we are also addressing those. Meantime, Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, Honorable Dr. Gail Rigobert, is excited about the new plans coming out of the recently held instructional focus meeting and the upcoming launch and implementation of an Education for Democratic Citizenship program as well as the digital literacy program. One year on, I'm happy to report that the training has been completed and both these programs will be starting in September of this year. And that is the beauty of this forum, that we meet before the start of the academic year to think strategically about which initiatives we can launch and accomplish within any given academic year. So you can tell it's a lot for the next 12 months, but given the track record of the last 12 months, I'm confident that given the team we have here, we can make significant strides, notwithstanding the fiscal challenges that we have. The minister says the acquisition of the ICT access centers, which will become innovation and career development centers, as well as the realignment of the curricula to be more closely aligned to what the market requires, are two other accomplishments that she says is deserving of her commendation. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, I am Chris Satney reporting.